Ultimately, my motivation to pursue this life in the first place came from this innate desire to have the freedom to travel and do the things that I love to do. If you're traveling in an RV, you can basically make anywhere your backyard. What do you think for a lot? I was thinking about it a bunch last night. I think we should traverse on the other cliffs. Right, a little bit. On the far lookers left. Oh, okay. To so go around the cliff band? Yeah, and then change over. I fell in love with snowboarding because it was like this meditative experience, this time where I felt completely just living in the moment. Yoda's ready whenever. I think around the age of 14 is when I realized that people actually had snowboarding as a job. I decided that I should do everything I can to make this my job. I'm Alex Yoder. I was born in San Francisco, California, and my family moved to Jackson, Wyoming when I was 11 years old. I snowboard professionally, and I recently started a coffee company called Overview Coffee. I think I was 23 years old at the time, and I had just started to actually be able to pay my bills with snowboarding, and I decided that I probably should quit. I got to this point where I felt like I was leading myself down a dangerous path. Those concussions and those knee injuries and neck injuries were ultimately a result of having to confront fear on a daily basis and really try to push through it, it wasn't working. It wasn't fun anymore. The following year, in a strange twist of fate, I met a man in Japan named Taro Tamai who started a snowboard company called Gentum Stick, designing snowboards that emulated the experience of surfing. So I spent a week riding with Taro and some of his friends, and Taro started handing me these boards of all different shapes and sizes that had been designed intentionally for different experiences. And it just sort of like cracked open my entire world and opened this door to a snowboarding experience that I didn't know existed before. Just riding with these guys, they weren't trying to jump off of everything and they weren't really worried about getting to the top of the mountain first. So they were just out there really trying to make beautiful turns and enjoy this connection to nature that is created with the snowboard. I had not never thought of it that way. This philosophy that actually felt more like myself, like I felt like I actually belonged. And at the end of that week, Taro asked me if I wanted to join the Gentum Stick team. from Honduras, and the other is a It was this really unique experience because when I got back and I started riding these boards at home and I started to intentionally ride the mountain differently, kind of put a different lens on how I wanted to snowboard, the mountain that I'd been riding my whole life completely changed. So in a sense, it was like this whole new lease on uh, this passion that I had and had started to lose.
at the end of the day, it's just fun to cruise around and not be in too much of a hurry or have, you know, objectives or just try to find fun snow to ride. Basically, I'm planning on staying in Jackson for the winter and kind of doing more of this, like exploring the backyard. Hopefully the snow conditions improve quite a bit. Things fill in a little bit more and can kind of get further out in the mountains.